What's happening, Magnus Friends? So, there was a topic of debate a few months ago, and uh, it was whether the Grey Hulk was going to be in Avengers or not. Remember there was that clip of him kicking the car, and he seemed to appear grayish. And people were like, nah, 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 it's just an angle or whatever. Well, look at this article that Cinema Bling has. It says, the Grey Hulk was almost featured in Avengers Age of Ultron. This is what it says. A few months ago, Hot Topic released an exclusive Funko Pop vinyl line that suggested a Grey Hulk would be showing up in Avengers Age of Ultron. The exclusive toy line called it the Savage Hulk. And when the photo was released, we speculated on Hulk's skin pigmentation and why it would happen. Turns out that we guessed correctly, except that ultimately Avengers 2 decided to keep him green to appease fans. But it actually, but in all actuality, the Grey Hulk was supposed to appear during the Hulkbuster sequence. Exploring the visual effects that went into Age of Ultron, Wired discovered the Hulk was supposed to turn gray. In chatting with the Industrial Light and Magic team that worked on the film, particularly the visual effects of the Hulk, Mike Seymour discovered the film's original intentions of having, of changing colors. Some minor spoilers ahead, so says initially, and this is a quote, says initially Hulk was actually planned to turn gray when he is angry, Hulk, in the Hulkbuster sequence. But hey, everybody wanted the green guy. So in the end, Industrial Light Magic just changed his eyes to make them look more sullen um, when he's under the control of the Scarlet Witch. I would like to see him gray. Um, it says it's pretty iconic the industrial, uh, sorry, it's pretty ironic that Industrial Light and Magic decided to stick with the, uh, with the green from the gray, considering Hulk was actually originally supposed to be gray in the comic books. Yeah. And if you don't know, yeah, it says here, you know, when Stan Lee and Jack Kirby first created the Hulk, they intended him to be gray, but the printing press continued to have trouble with the color, and he kept coming out green, so they just went with it later it revealed that the original color was in fact gray and that spawned gray hulk who was completely separate personality gray hulk was different than both bruce banner and the green hulk he was not as strong as green hulk but smarter and also more manipulative the comic book gray hulk is a bit different than what avengers age of ultron intended with using that color though which is true you know, I was like, well, why is he going to turn gray with mind control? But it could have been some, you know, it could have been explained as some way of, you know, because he was under mind control, it caused the gray Hulk to come out instead. You know what I mean? Whatever. I thought it would have been cool because we haven't seen him yet. In the Hulk, my first introduction to the gray Hulk was when Spidey went cosmic. Remember that? And he punched the Hulk in the orbit. And he was holding his fucking breath, and he's like, all right, the sun's coming up, and Banner's gonna come out. Uh, little Spider-Man <laughs> went up there and brought his ass back down. But anyway, it says in the Hulkbuster scene, which would have been Grey Hulk, Hulk is put under Scarlet Witch's spell. He becomes even more angry and more destructive, basically embodying all of Bruce Banner's worst fears about the big green. Throughout both Avengers films, the Hulk has maintained a hero status, never causing too much harm to innocents. Yet Banner is a lover, not a fighter, as it becomes more apparent in the Age of Ultron. And the Hulk's violent behavior, no matter which side he protects, causes Banner serious strife. Under Scarlet Witch's spell, the Hulk basically destroys an entire city. I don't know if they destroyed the entire city, but they did some damn damage. <laughs> we can see that he is out of control uh, with the red with the red around and reflecting in his eyes. It would have been cool to see the big guy turn a completely different color, but the final product proves equally effective. You know what part I forgot to talk about the other day? Remember, in my spoiler talk, remember when they were fighting, when the Hulkbuster, you know, Tony Stark and the Hulk were fighting? 
And he went into that rapid punch thing. He was like, do, 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 do. go to sleep, go to sleep. He's trying to knock the Hulk out. And he couldn't do it. He hit me with like 30 rapid punch. Boom to the face. Couldn't do it. So, all right, y'all. Post your comments down below. Would you have liked to see the Grey Hulk in Avengers Days of Ultron? I would have. They already changed certain things for movies anyway, so I wouldn't have met, uh, you know I wouldn't have had a problem with seeing the Great Hulk um, in there. All right, post your comments down below if you like the vid if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and share. If you did not, you're a moron. Hit the like button, subscribe and share. Mohawk, one million subscribers. Woo!